Hello, my name is Chris and I will look at the Cadillac Escalade 2022. I will look at the exterior, interior, tech and engine options, then take it out on the road and explain what are the vehicle's strengths and who it is for. The Escalade exterior is available in a standard size and an extended larger rear trunk known as the ESV model which stands for Escalade Stretch Vehicle. Okay, the exterior looks very assertive as you can see and the white paint contrasts well with the black trim making it even more distinctive. The interior is very high level. I think this has been one of GM's biggest improvements and especially in Cadillac. It is tech filled and relatively straightforward, easy to use. The key features are simple and that is really nice. Cadillac nails the main interfaces. The OLED screen is clear and bright with information that pops. Great sound from the sound system. The leather seats are utterly perfect an increasingly reoccurring Cadillac feature. On the useful tech front, the Super Cruise Control works on the major highways of Quebec, allowing for hands-free driving. I tried it on the 20 during rush hour and it works. That is the future. I am 46 years old and I have been conditioned over the decades to GM. They have come out with so many gimmick features that have a wow factor for 10 seconds and then lose interest while having an inferior reliability. Super Cruise is not a gimmick, it is amazing and it works. And now that I have used it, I can't see myself buying another new car without hands-free cruise control. Very good GM. There are five trims, but there isn't that much difference between the models and there are aesthetic and option groups. These five models start at $93,000 and it goes up from there. If you're going to buy this vehicle, I recommend you go all in. Whatever you want from the option catalog, just take it. Nothing says excess like a Cadillac Escalade. There are two engines available, the 6.2 liter V8 that sounds great and drinks a lot of gas or the 3 liter diesel turbo that sounds horrible and drinks very little gas. All engines come with a 10 speed automatic and all wheel drive and this diesel was averaging about 8 liters per 100 kilometers which is incredible. Either way is a good choice. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers driving the Cadillac Escalade. 2022 this is the diesel model what to say about this vehicle i think we have to look at at this escalade through the eyes of the typical buyer and what do the typical buyers want of this vehicle i think they want an imposing exterior styling and i think cadillac delivers very assertive front end very assertive from every angle there there's a, there's a certain stature a certain look that i think cadillac succeeds with its styling department and, and no question it's a success on that level. Other things that I think people want from this type of vehicle is they want an interior that is decked out and that is to say all the latest you see I just got a west uh, I just got a bell to say that there's a school zone ahead. What, what, what to say about this interior well you have all the latest technologies you have like this screen inside of a screen here for the interior which is pretty pretty well done a high level sound system, there's speakers everywhere. You have a, a commanding visibility. You, you feel so up high and you feel really in security in this vehicle, I can tell you that right now. You have the latest tech in terms of driving aids. I was on the highway before trying the Super Cruise, it works. So I wasn't touching it at all and it has a convenient green light on the steering wheel to let you know. So that's pretty awesome. What is the Super Cruise, by the way? Well, it allows you to drive. It's like a pilot assist. It's, it's better than those other cruise control systems where you have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. I had my hands off the steering wheel, my feet off the gas or the brake, and the car was driving itself. It did that for, for many, many minutes until I got off the highway, and, and it's really awesome on that level. I think that's a key driving aid. I think the future is going that way. I mean, eventually one day if I can be in my vehicle on my iPad reading whatever the heck I want and the car can be driving, I can be looking up from time to time to make sure I'm not running into like some, some other car. I think that's the future. Another key feature I think buyers of this vehicle want are luxurious interfaces. When adjusting the climate control, very simple, very quality feeling. The shifter, this steering wheel, same thing high quality stuff the leather of the seats is is so high level you cannot get over it actually gm make great seats um 
these seats are super comfortable, super comfortable. You get the big moonroof, you get the heads up display. We're used to seeing that. Uh, the, the door pull here, when you're opening the door, it feels very luxury. However, this door handle here, when you're, when you're pulling the door to close it, feels a bit cheap. That's a key driver interface. That's a miss for, for, for Cadillac. But apart from that, that's the only miss of this vehicle. Another thing too is this drivetrain, this diesel engine. Ross has been averaging 7.9 liters per 100 kilometer, lots of highway, some city driving. That's pretty amazing. However, I would say that despite it having a lot of power, uh, the diesel sounds horrible. And well, at this price, you want everything to be perfect. And um, well, the V8 might sound a lot better for you, though it will drink more gas. So overall, I gotta say that this vehicle fulfills the mission. Four year bumper to bumper warranty, 80,000 kilometers. Six year, 110,000 kilometer uh, powertrain warranty. Pretty good, I'd say. Uh, certainly recommendable on the lease. However, if you wanna go for the GMC products to save money, I think you will get quite a bit of comfort and space. And those are my thoughts of the Cadillac Escalade. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.